Hey, this is the first video that accompanies the book Slain XL Dragons. Hey, we're going to do an entire video series that does all of the examples in this book. Hey, for this video, chapter number one, here are our topics. This video is just a short intro video. Here's our workbook. And as always, click on the link below the video and you can download this workbook. And you can go ahead and uh, search on Amazon or whatever bookstore you'd like to find that Slain XL Dragons book. All right, we've got to stock, start out just with the basics. Hey, Excel, what is Excel? Well, it's a two-way grid. Column headers, row headers. This is column C, this is col uh, row 5. And the intersection is called, in the name box, we can see C5. That is the address for this cell. Later when we do formula, C5 will be a cell reference. Now, all the cells here make up a worksheet. Now when you download this, this workbook has a lot of sheets. These are worksheets or spreadsheets. We'll just refer to them as sheets. Now you can go click, click, click and go on each sheet. This workbook has over 150 sheets with all the examples from the book. I'm going to click right here. All right, cell. All the cells are a worksheet. All of the sheets are a workbook. And the name of the workbook is up in the title bar, Excel is Fun Start Video. Right, the keyboard shortcut to jump between uh, sheets is Control Page Up, Control Page Down, Control Page Down goes to the right, Control Page Up goes to the left. I always mix that up. I still think I'm going up this direction, but no, no, it's uh, Control Page Down. All right, uh, just a couple quick other things in this video. We have some ribbons, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, developer. What's that? Favorites. Oh, that's a custom ribbon I added. Add-ins, that's if you have any add-ins. Now, in order in 2010, you can actually customize these. In 2007, you couldn't. You can right-click any ribbon and go to Customize the Ribbon. When the Excel Options dialog box pops up, it will have Customized Ribbon on the left highlighted. These are all the commands. Here are all the ribbons. Now, first, before we start adding some of these commands to our ribbon, let's go ahead and the most important thing is to select from Choose Commands From, not this silly default, popular, but all. That gives us all of the features in Excel, about 1,300. Once we have that, now we can customize the ribbon. Now, what do we do to show that? We came up here, and by default, the developer was not checked, so I simply checked it. And then you could actually hide whatever ribbons you want. But the power of the new customization feature is that you can come down here and say New Tab. The ribbon is really all made up of a bunch of tabs. You'll hear me refer to them either as ribbons or tabs, but technically, uh, they're all one ribbon, and these are different tabs. So we add a tab. I'm going to, you can either right click rename, or once you select it, click rename. I'll put favorites, click OK. And then same here, right click or click the rename. And I'll say um, faves or something like that. Once you have a group like this, you can come over here and select anything and just fill your ribbon. Now there's two, two important things here are different screen tips. If you click right here, 3D options, it says Smart Tools Ribbon Format Tab. So it tells you the pathway. So one cool thing about this list is if you used to use something and you knew where it was, you can come to this alphabetized list. right? So I'm going to click here and type a P to jump to the pivot tables. And uh, right there. So let's just say I used to know it was the data menu in earlier versions. Now I can click on this, and it tells me, oh, insert tab tables group. So that's one nice thing. Another nice thing about this list, in fact, let's go ahead and add it. So I'm going to add it to my face right there. And there I got my pivot table. So this one, we can figure out where something is. But look at this, pivot table and pivot chart wizard. 
this is the old three step wizard and look what it says command not in ribbon right so I'm gonna add that one um, that gives you the old three step wizard and there there is one slight advantage in that three step wizard but 99% of the time you don't want to use the old three step wizard because it was three steps but there I have the choice now now you could go through and add whatever you want maybe a five point star because that's not in the ribbon either so you could literally go through this list and just build the perfect ribbon tab alright I'm gonna click OK let's go look Ooh, I have two favorites now <laughs> right this is the one I made uh, before for myself but there it is you click on here pivot table there's our one step wizard there's our three step wizard oh look at that consolidated ranges is the thing that they left out if you come back over here hey I don't see my consolidated ranges alright so ribbons now what about the quat quick access toolbar now watch the quick access toolbar it's always showing so if you're always working on the data or the formulas and there's a bunch of things on the home ribbon you want you can simply add things to the quat quick access toolbar because it's always showing right so you're always working here you can just load it up you could also do the same thing as the ribbon right load up an entire ribbon load up an entire and then you never have to go anywhere it's all exactly where you want it all right right click let's go show quick access toolbar above right click show quick access below now customizing the same as the ribbon right click customize quick access toolbar same thing we want to say all and there's our quick access and then I could say uh, whatever it is uh, I wanted here and click add another thing about the quick access toolbar just totally amazing you can go to any ribbon item and right click and if it says add to quick access toolbar you're allowed to add it and most items are so there it is right I'm always working on data and formulas now I have my awesome conditional formatting All right, I'm gonna click escape so that's a little bit uh, we saw how the most important thing about Excel is that it's two dimensions we have column headers we have row headers that'll help us when we build our formulas uh, and do cell references and things like that we got all of our sheets we got our workbook we've customized the ribbon and the quat in our next video we'll see we'll learn about chapter two uh, keyboard shortcuts alright see you next video